fx is equal to 12x to the power of 1 over 2 minus 2x to the power of 3 over 2. fx is defined for the all real numbers x greater and equal to 0. So when we differentiate fx, we got f prime x is equal to 6x to the power of negative 1 over 2 minus 3x to the power of 1 over 2 equal to 6 over third x minus 3x to the power of 1 over 2 equal the denominator so we got 6 minus 3x over third x for the first condition when f prime x is equal to 0, then we have 6 minus 3x over third x is equal to 0. So we have 6 minus 3x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2. x is equal to 2 is a critical number. For the second condition, when f prime x is undefined, it is happen when the denominator of f prime x is equal to zero. So this is means that third x is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0. So when x is equal to 2, substitute the value of x is equal to 2 into the fx. So we have 12 times 2 to the power of 1 over 2 minus 2 times 2 to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 11.31. When x is equal to 0, substitute x is equal to 0 into the function of fx. So we have 12 times 0 to the power of 1 over 2 minus 2 times 0 to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, the critical point are to 11.31 and 0, 0. The function fx is equal to e to the power of x over x minus 2. The function fx is defined for the all real numbers except x is equal to 2. Now, we are going to differentiate the function fx using the quotient rule. So we got f prime x is equal to e to the power of x times in bracket x minus 3 over x minus 2 to the power of 2. So when f prime x is equal to 0, so we have e to the power of x in brackets x minus 3 over x minus 2 
to the power of 2 is equal to 0. So, x to the power of x times in bracket x minus 3 is equal to 0. When e to the power of x is equal to 0, and then we got ln e to the power of x is equal to ln 0. So, this is undefined. For the second factor, x minus 3 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to 3. So, x is equal to 3 is a critical number. For the second case, when f prime x is undefined, this is happen when the denominator of the x prime x is equal to 0. So, x minus 2 square is equal to 0, x minus 2 is equal to 0, therefore, x is equal to 2. But we have already known that the function fx is undefined when x is equal to 2. So, x is equal to 2 is not a critical number. So, we only have one critical number. So, when x is equal to 3, substitute x is equal to 3 into the function of fx. So, we have 12 times with the 3 to the power of 1 over 2 minus 2 times 3 to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 10.39. So, the critical point is 310.39. From the graph, we can see that f prime x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3. So, x is equal to 3 is a critical number. And we also can see that fx is not defined at x is equal to 2. That means x is equal to 2 is not a critical number. Stationary point is the point where dy over dx is equal to 0 or f prime x is equal to 0 at the point x is equal to c. The tangents to the curve at point a, b, and c are horizontal. That means dy over dx is equal to 0 at points a, b, and c. Therefore, a, b, and c are called stationary points. Now we are going to find the stationary points for the function y is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared plus 6. First, we have to find the dy over dx. The dy over dx is the differentiation of the function y. So the dy over dx is equal to 3x squared minus 6x. Now let the dy over dx is equal to 0. So we have 3x squared minus 6x 
is equal to 0. Factorize the dy over dx. So we have 3x in the bracket x minus 2 is equal to 0. So we have 2 factor. For the first factor, 3x is equal to 0, we have x is equal to 0. And for the second factor, x minus 2 is equal to 0, so we have x is equal to 2. For, for the first value of x is equal to 0, substitute the value of x is equal to 0 into the function of y. So we have y is equal to 0 to the power of 3 minus 3 times 0 to the power of 2 plus 6. And the answer is 6. When x is equal to 2, Substitute the value of x is equal to 2 into the function of y and we have 2 to the power of 3 minus 3 times 2 to the power of 2 plus 6 is equal to 2. So, the stationary points are Zero six and two two. For the exercise, find the critical point of y is equal to four x plus x to the power of negative one. Submit your solution to your lecturer. Thank you.